make a hair doing bad impression of people doing impressions of me I need some coffee because I'm British <laughs> good morning from Calgary Alberta Well, that one just kind of rolls off the top. Yeah. <laughs> Good enough. back to another video. So today I wanted to do something that I haven't done for a little bit, kind of like a mini vlog type thing. Uh, I have two jerseys to unbox and I'm waiting for one so I figure while I wait for one I'll have myself some nice rum, maybe smoke a cigar and just wait for the jersey and we'll unbox them when they get here. It should be here pretty soon. I have a watch on so oh well. Um, but yeah we will just go outside and it's kind of rainy out a little bit. It's really nice out, so I love the rain. The rain is my favorite weather. So we'll sit out there, have some rum. hour or so I'm assuming um, really excited I have the first one right here I will open that up when the second one comes but I figured why not enjoy this beautiful weather like I said rain is probably my favorite kind of weather come on you bastard and I haven't had a drink for a while it's been a few months and I also haven't had a scar in almost a year and a half I think probably so feels like it's time to do both. Um, I have the Romeo and Juliet. I'm not quite number two something. It's a Cuban. Um, so we'll enjoy that. All right, so I'm going to see you guys in a bit. I'm going to enjoy this cigar. I'm going to enjoy this rum. And in a bit, we'll open up the two jerseys when the second one gets here. Maybe we'll order a pizza. Um, I got another video to film after this. So it should be a good day. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I heard the doorbell and it looks like the jersey's here. I went and picked it off the front porch. Don't want anyone stealing it, so I like kind of the smoke clear out a little bit. I don't want the jersey smelling like smoke. Although Cuban cigar is not the worst smelling thing in the world. 
Um, so we'll open up the two. Uh, this is two out of the five that I was waiting for. So I have three more coming. Uh, two from everyone's favorite Ben H Sports and another coming all the way from the UK uh, from a, another YouTube channel that I'm super excited about. But we'll open up the two that we have right now. So we got this one. I'm going to do this one last because I'm really excited about this one. Uh, this one I'll open up first. Oh, so now Pro-Hockey Life is having a sale a few, about a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. Um, Stadium Series jerseys and Winter Classic jerseys were on for a really good price. Uh, I wasn't able to get the two that I really wanted, but I was able to get one that I really, really wanted. Um, so we'll open up and I'll show you which one it is. Bruins Winter Classic jersey from this past season. Um, excited to have this one in my collection. I think this might be my favorite Boston jersey of ever. Uh, so I'm very, very happy to have this in my collection. Um, I was also trying to order the Stadium Series jersey uh, from the Pittsburgh and Philadelphia Series. And I wasn't able to get that, so sad about that. But I was very happy to have this one added into the collection. So it's beautiful. All right, and this one I have been looking forward to for a long time. Uh, this is one of the jerseys that... I don't want to say it's a Holy Grail jersey, but it is up there. It is one that I've been chasing for a little while. I finally found it for a decent price. Um, this is the first time I've purchased a jersey from Retro 2 Heritage off of eBay. At least I think it is the first time I've bought from them. Um, but we'll open it up and I'll show you guys which one it is. I'm not going to use that. This one's nice. Oh, cool, they folded the logo. Oh, sweet. Okay, let's open this up here. Any guesses as to what one it is gonna be? You see it? Nope, good. The World Cup of Hockey Team North America jersey, uh, the white one. The reason I wanted this jersey was the sleeves. This color right here is my absolute favorite. Um, I don't know what it is. I have gym shoes that kind of look like that. Uh, I just absolutely love that heathered look, especially in gray. Gray, silver, whatever you want to call it, is typically my favorite color. Um, so I think this is absolutely beautiful. As you all know, I like the white jerseys better. Um, I just think the logo pops so much better on white jerseys, typically, not all the time, but typically. I'm not happy with how they folded the jersey, uh, so that's something, but it's not wrecked, it's not damaged in any way, but they could have folded it a little bit better. But I will enjoy some more rum here. I'm going to order a pizza, I think. I'm getting kind of hungry. I'll go and try these jerseys on and show you guys them more detailed in the basement. But, as my friend Mika would say, see you in a bit. All right, so I will show you guys the jerseys down here. I will kind of give you a little bit better of an idea of what they actually look like. Like I mentioned earlier, I got this from Pro Hockey Life. It was on sale. So I think I only paid about $83 in total um, with tax and everything. So that's very, very good price. Uh, it is size 46. I'm about just a little over 5'7". So I'm not the tallest guy in the world, so 46, they don't fit too, too bad. Um, the Adidas jerseys, like I've mentioned in previous videos, I find the size can be a little bit inconsistent. This one doesn't fit too bad. Um, I absolutely love this jersey. I really hope this becomes a home jersey, or so I guess it would be the away jersey at some point down the road, or just bring it back as a full-time 
third jersey or something. It is so, so nice. The B is just super soft. Absolutely phenomenal. I can feel it for hours. Um, I'm not a fan of this this particular uh, patch on the jersey. Um, if they do bring it back as a third jersey, or when they had wore it previously after the Winter Classic, they didn't have the patch on it. So they've played more games without the patch than with the patch. Having said that, it is kind of cool to have it on there. Now as far as who I'd like to get on this jersey, um, I'm kind of leaning towards Brandon Carlo, I think. I was going to do John Moore, but I feel like Carlo might be a Boston Bruin a little bit longer than John Moore end up, will probably end up being. But we'll see. Uh, so right now I think Carlo is the uh, front runner, but like I said, only time will tell. Alright, now for the pickup of the year, I think, for me. Uh, this white Team North America jersey from the World Cup from 2016. Like I said, this gray is probably my favorite color design type thing ever. Uh, not just hockey, not just hockey jerseys. Like I said, I have gym shoes that look like this. I have a like little bag that you put like all your toiletry stuff in that kind of looks like this as well. I had a backpack like this in high school that looked like this. My bed sheets even kind of look like this. So I really, really like this kind of design. Man, it is sharp on a jersey. If I could have a hockey team, beer league, professional, amateur, whatever it is, this would kind of be the design I'd be going for. I'm not necessarily a huge, huge fan of the logo itself, but it pops really, really nice on this jersey. So the biggest reason I think I like white jerseys is just the logo usually pops a lot better in the on the white jersey than it does on the darker jersey. So, so I also might have to order more of these SAP or SAP patches or whatever that they had on for the World Cup of Hockey. Uh, I was planning on putting this on my Team Finland jersey, um, but I want to get one, another one of these for this particular jersey, put it on the shoulder. I'm kind of leaning towards getting Johnny Gaudreau put on this jersey. I have a few players on the Flames that I'd rather get Flames jerseys for than Johnny Gaudreau, but I really like Johnny Gaudreau, so I think I should probably get a jersey for him, and this one makes perfect sense. Uh, but these patches actually were one of the more expensive patches that I bought for my jerseys. Um, so if they go down in price, I'll definitely pick up another two or three for my other World Cup jersey. So I'll keep my eye out. All right, so now the part that makes me look like a terrible hockey player, which is fair because I am, taking a couple shots on the net. My favorite part. <laughs> So that pretty much does it for this video um, with those two jerseys for the unboxing. Wait, I have one more surprise to show you. One other jersey. 
I forgot about. Uh, I tried to do an unboxing of this one when I first came back from Prince Edward Island. Uh, it was waiting for me when I came home. I did an unboxing of it, but the first two videos or something, whatever was going on with my camera, did not focus. So the unboxing is taped and recorded, but it is really fuzzy and blurry more than normal. Um, I don't know what I did to the settings or something, but I will show you guys the jersey now. That is right, the new KHL jersey, uh, Dinamo Moscow, the lockout year Alexander Ovechkin jersey, um, with his mother's number 32 on the jersey. I guess his mom used to wear number 32 and she used to play basketball or something. He also wore 32 a lot in Russia. Um, so it is the number 32 Alexander Ovechkin Dinamo Moscow jersey. This jersey came straight from Russia. Uh, my mom's friend, a family friend, business friend, I don't know exactly. Uh, Pavel, he is from Russia. He came over and he was kind enough to uh, bring this jersey for me. Um, so I was beyond, beyond happy to have this in my collection. Um, it's been quite a while since I've added a KHL jersey to my collection. I have my eye on two, maybe three more uh, coming up at some point this year. Hopefully, uh, they are pretty expensive, so we'll see. But this one is absolutely just gorgeous. And this one, honestly, might be going in a frame. I, It's just too nice not to have it framed. So I'll see if I can find something for that. But yeah, I figured I should probably show you guys this one because this one is really, really cool. So now I have a white and a blue Dinamo Moscow jersey. So Pavel, if you do end up seeing this, thank you very, very, very much. I honestly really really appreciate it you've helped my collection out um so thank you thank you very much uh spasiba all right so that pretty much wraps it up for this video guys uh stay tuned for the, my next video which i'll be doing the um best jersey from each franchise's history as well super excited for that one and i will see you guys in the next video which will be that one uh so thanks again for watching if you guys want you can check me out on instagram as well i'll leave a link to that in the description uh, but if not Take care. Bye.